Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a 2006 uh, Four Winds 215 Sundowner. It's a 21 foot cutty. It's fitted with a Maracruiser 4.3 litre MPI uh, fuel injected engine that makes 220 horsepower. Um, and the whole boat's in, in really fantastic condition. It's um, on a twin axle roller coaster SPS trailer. It's got a really nice um, spec on it. It's got GPS, VHF radio, um, port of potty fresh water system. Um, it's just a really great little boat, whether you're looking to use it for water sports or, or day cruising or even the odd overnight stay. So we're going to take a close look at the boat. We're going to go through all the features on board um, and try and give you a really good idea of the condition that this one's in. So this boat has been through our workshop and it's been fully prepped for sale. Um, now that's included a hull compound and polish. So we've just brought the, the hull back up to like the original um, gel coat finish. It is absolutely pristine, unmarked. The rub rail all the way around the boat's in perfect condition. The actual gel coat itself is immaculate. There's a really deep um, mirror finish to it. All the stainless steel hard rear, hardware and fitting, so the rails, the cleats, um, the windscreen frame, everything's just in really good shape. We've got the four winds lettering here as well. Again, um, Four winds are a really high quality boat and you can tell from the level of all the detail. On some of the inferior boats you get this lettering, gets pitted and um, degrades fairly quickly but this, this is the original lettering, it's still in perfect condition. Um, we've also um, just antifoiled the hull as well so it's been painted with international Trilux white paint um, <clears throat> just to freshen it up so it's ready to just go straight to the water for the start of the season. So the story down along the starboard side of the hull is the same, again the gel coat is in immaculate condition, really nice deep gloss shine to it. Um, there is just one little area of uh, damage that's been repaired. It was where the previous owner just caught it, I think he was pulling the anchor in up over the side and uh, just caught it on the, the gel coat there. So we've sort of filled that in. I, I mean, if you stand back a couple of feet, you can't see that, but um, that, that's the worst that you'll find going around this boat. Apart from that, the rest of it is totally pristine, immaculate condition. Again, if you take a look at the hull bottom, it's unmarked as well. Like I said, the antifoiling paint's been freshened up. Um, and we also replaced, there's a couple of rollers and things um, missing off the trailer, so we replaced those as well. So um, I should say that this boat's been sold, it's one of our own, it's been sold with three months warranty um, on the entire boat. Um, and as part of that process, whenever we're getting the boats ready, we checked out for sale gone through in detail, anything that needs taken care of is taken care of. Everything on this boat is in perfect working condition. The 215 was a really popular um, boat, particularly in this part of the world, because you've got the, it's a, it's a great day cruiser platform uh, and brilliant for water sports, but you've also got the added protection of the cuddy cabin and the overnight possibilities. But one of the things that makes it really suitable for the water sports is this extended swim platform. So um, standard on the boat, it's got uh, a nice deep four step uh, folding swim ladder on the starboard side. We've got like a draining locker on the, the port side that you can use just, you know, for ice or wet gear or whatever. Um, we've got a central ski tool point there, a nice stylish one in the center of the transom. And the, the whole, the whole de deck is molded non-skid. The condition of this platform, which again is a very common area for getting knocks in and around the marina and whenever you're coming in the breath of the boat is perfect, you know, there's no, apart from there's a little rub here on the, the rub rail, it's just the stainless rub rail on this side, but the actual gel coat itself is on mark, there's no stress cracks or anything, um, and on the, the port side is, is perfect. The boat's fitted with a Mercruiser 4.3 litre MPI uh, engine and that's matched up to this Alpha 1 stern drive leg, um, so we've obviously We've serviced the engine, we've, we've also serviced the leg as part of the preparation of getting the boat ready for the start of the season. And condition wise, it's, uh, it's all in perfect shape. I mean, you've got a nice original paint finish on the drive, it's, the drive's never been anti foiled So it's got that proper uh, factory paint finish on it. The propeller's in pretty good condition. Um, one little nick out of the blade, we'll probably get that dressed up actually, we'll get that prop recon reconditioned before the boat goes. Um, the anodes and stuff are in good shape, they're more than 50% there, the bellows and things are also in good condition, and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all in really good shape down there. A couple of other things to point out before we jump into the cockpit is, first of all, we've got this uh, fresh water shower on the transom, 
So these are a little bit awkward to get out these things, but it's a retractable hose and there's a pressurized fresh water system so you can wash down before you get in the boat after a swim. Uh, we've also got a, a pressurized tap up at the cockpit sink as well. In addition to that, um, we've got a, a nice big storage locker across the transom here. The boat, generally speaking, has lots of storage. All these lockers are drained into the bills as well. Um, so this is perfect for life jackets or ropes and fenders and stuff like that. Um, and then we've got this uh, walkthrough transom on the starboard side. So this locker extends right up the length of the, uh, the, the starboard side of the boat up to the, the cockpit wet bar there. So it's, I mean, it's huge. You'll, it'll easily swallow up two or three wakeboards, skis, bulkier items, um, your covers and things like that will all go in there out of the way and it's easy to access. We've got this hatch at the, at the stern and we've also got another um, access point underneath the, the cockpit wet bar there. So the walkthrough transom um, gives easy access into the boat. The boat has a U-shaped seating arrangement there and if uh, for boarding and onboarding what you can do is you can just pull out the, the seat cushions so that seat back removes and you can also lift that seat base they can store out of the way and either in underneath the in that big locker there we just looked at or in the in the cabin but that gives you an easy step through so um, you know if you've got older relatives or whatever who have trouble getting on and off the boat that's a really easy way to get in and out of this boat without having to jump over seats or anything the cockpit itself is um, it's a nice modern feeling design and we've got a, a very sociable seat layer so this aft u-shaped lounger i think it makes great use of space it'll easily accommodate four or five adults um, around a central table so there's a little table that goes in here in the middle the the helm seat and the passenger seat then up front they, they rotate 360 degrees so whenever you're sitting at anchor or having a picnic on board or a few drinks um, you've got this nice circular seat arrangement and then whenever you're underway these seats rotate and, and face forward both of these seats have flip up holsters as well so if you want to stand at the helm position of the passenger seat whenever you're underway you can easily do that um, condition wise everything in here is, is, is perfect it's, um, the upholstery is in great condition there are no tears or marks anywhere at all in the upholstery all the stitching is in really good shape Four Winds would be considered a high quality um, builder and that you know it is apparent in here from the, the quality of that, the upholstery to the stainless steel cup holders, the stainless steel sink, it's all stainless steel handrails in here as well and um, you know lots of little nice design touches you know so we've got this, the seating layout, we've got the walkthrough transom, with nice recessed uh, storage down along the port side here and also over on the starboard side. Um, and uh, the, the little wet bar here as well. So there's a nice, nice little neat cockpit wet bar. We got this pressurized um, uh, cold water tap, uh, draining sink. We've got a recessed bin there as well, rubbish bin, and a couple of cup holders. And we've also got access then underneath here into that big locker that runs up the, the length of the starboard side there. We've also got in underneath this uh, lounger seat in the port side, we've got an igloo cool box that stows in there. And we've got access into our battery isolator switch uh, below that as well. The helm position on the boat has a nice uh, sporty feel to it. You're sitting, um, first of all, the, we've got a five position tilt steering wheel here so you can get um, a nice comfortable steering position. The, the seat also is adjustable fore and aft and for height. Um, it's a really good bucket seat. Um, you feel nice and snug in it and you've also got a raised um, footrest to brace yourself against the seat. Um, visibility, whenever I'm sitting in the seat, I've got really clear visibility through the screen. And it's also got the flip up bolster, so if you're towing skiers or coming in to, to berth the boat, you can, you can sit up on the bolster or stand at the helm and just get better visibility all the way around. Um, in terms of the equipment now that's on board, we've got a full range of marine instruments at the, at the dash. Our digital taco is showing 122.4 hours on the engine which is nothing to a boat like this. Um, we've also got a Faria digital depth gauge. The boat's fitted with a Garmin a GPS map 451S. So that's a combination chart plotter and fish finder. Nice little four inch screen one that sits well on the dash there. And it's also matched up to a Garmin a VHF 100i 
uh, VHF radio, my, down here in my, my right hand. Um, full range of switch gear for all our bits and pieces of 12 volt equipment. And we've got controls for the Clarion, the Clarion uh, stereo that lives down in the cabin. So we can turn the stereo on, control the volume and things from up here, um, and cycle between CD and, and radio. So yeah, again, the condition-wise, it's, it's very good. The only thing that lets it down a little bit is the steering wheel. Now, these steering wheels are notorious for the, they're just, they're, they were supplied by Ultraflex, I think. I've spoken to Four Winds about it. You can't, unfortunately, get replacement steering wheels for it anymore. You could put uh, an aftermarket wheel on if it really bothers you, but we've just got this little, a little bit of wear on the, on the upholstery there in the wheel, uh, and that's just because it wasn't really a great finish to start off with when you, but the centerpiece is good. The wheel's structurally sound of, I mean, type of thing you probably won't notice after the first couple of runs out but um, if it did bother you you could replace the wheel but apart from that the condition is perfect again you know take a close look at the screen surround here it's all in very good condition there's no signs of any corrosion or anything all these stainless steel screen supports the little canvas hooks and things and, and the actual dash upholstery itself is all in uh, very good condition performance wise this boat is I think it's the 4.3 liter MPI engine is probably the perfect match for the boat. It gives it 220 horsepower, gives a really good turn of speed. The boat jumps up on the plane in like three or four seconds, and at full throttle it'll be it'll do around about 40, 45 miles per hour, um, which is loads for a boat like this. There's plenty of power for pulling skiers. It'll jump up on the plane even with a full complement of passengers on board. The boat is CE stamped. It's rated for six people, um, and even with six people plus gear on board. Um, the performance is really good. But we're going to put the boat in the water uh, and run it underway so you can see for yourself how well she's running. And you can see that we've got really good access in around this, uh, this Maracruiser engine. So as I said, it's a 4.3 litre MPI. The MPI stands for multi-point fuel injection. Um, so it's turnkey start just like your cars turnkey start it's fully electronic fuel injection um, automatic idle speed control automatic um, cold start function um, so it's just you, you, to, to start the engine you just turn the key and go there's no having to pump throttles or um, or warm the engine up excessively before you head off from the dock all the service checkpoints are, are nice and handy at the front of the engine so we've got a gear lib uh, monitor bottle so that's the the gearbox oil level We've then got our engine oil dipstick here and um, this, this boat's fitted with a single point drain as well so for draining the water out at winter time it's just a matter of opening that one that one uh, fitting that drains the engine down. So condition wise everything in here is in really good shape. As I said the engine's just been serviced, it's been full oil change, filter um, and uh, we've done the gearbox oil checked over all the belts uh, and everything's in really good shape. Like I said, the engine's only done 122 hours from you. Um, we've also plugged in the, our diagnostic equipment into the engine and uh, you can check the, just check the, the photographs at the bottom of the listing and you'll see the, the engine report for yourself there. So that verifies the engine hours and there's no fault codes on the engine as well. It's totally clear of any uh, faults. So uh, we've got an automatic fire extinguisher in there. We've also got a fresh, our fresh water tank over in the corner. Um, and just generally speaking, there's good access for, for service and, and maintenance.
We've got an open and center windscreen section here, which gives you access out onto the fore deck. We've got this little uh, fold out uh, stainless steel step to help your way up. Um, the fore deck itself is molded and non skid. We've got an anchor locker out there, um, complete with anchor and rope and chain. Um, so if you're looking to either get out there to sunbathe on a, on a nice day, throw a towel down, or else drop the anchor, you get easy access in and out there. Access into the cabin then is through this uh, split fold door. So it folds open both sides, and then we've got um, there's a little step there to help your way down into the cabin. Once you're down in here, it is a nice usable sort of space. We've got I've got full sitting headroom um, up at the door. Probably seat three adults in here if you wanted to get in out of the way if uh, you get caught in a rain shower or something. Um, there is there's filler cushions that make this um, area up into full uh, V berth. So if you did want to spend uh, a night on board, you can do that in conjunction with the camper. You know, if you've got the camper canvas, the camper covers up on the boat, um, then you know you've got a fully enclosed boat, with your bedroom down here, and you can relax out there. So it, you know it has genuine sort of all weather ability. This boat, um, condition wise, it's perfect. The headline is really good shape. The upholstery we had redone because one of the previous owners had stored the the seat base and also the carpets for the boat um, in a shed that wasn't, it, it, I think he put it in a shed, it wasn't watertight. This seat, the seat cushions got really moldy and in bad shape and so did the carpet. So what we've done is we've reupholstered the cabin here with, with a nice sort of um, velour effect beige, which I think it looks far better than the original upholstery. The, the, the original one's a bit of a flowery, sort of typical American design. This here looks a lot fresher and nicer and it's in perfect condition. And we've also had carpets remade for the boat as well, um, which you can see from the uh, from the pictures. We're just waiting on them arriving, but we're gonna put those down um, in the next day or two and, and put the pictures up online. So you've got a brand new set of carpets outside and uh, a brand new uh, upholstery down here. Carpet and everything in here is in really good shape. As I said, the, the headlining's in good shape. We've got two little um, reading lights at either end of the bed, and we've got a couple of open and port lights in here for, for a bit of ventilation and uh, with this large deck hatch, you get good natural light in here. So the stereo head unit is also mounted down in the cabin, so it keeps it nice and dry and out of the way. That's the other little uh, reading light there. We've also got a carbon monoxide detector up in the corner. And then underneath the, the entry step is the, the porta potty. So it's, you pull the step out of the way and slide the porta potty out on the little runners. So if you, um, if you, want it, if you need to use the toilet or whatever, you can just slide the porta potty out, close the door, and you've got good privacy in here for doing that. We've got storage then in the cabin, both underneath the seats and around the seat backs as well. And we've got a couple of speakers um, for the stereo system in here as well. So yeah, this is a, a pretty nice cabin to spend time in. It is a proper usable cabin. It's not just a glorified cupboard. You can tell a lot from a boat by looking at the details up close. And um, usually if, if all the little detail touches are all there, original, and as they should be, it's a really good sign that the boat's been well looked after uh, and in good condition. So, like, if we take a, cl a close look, so the, the little split folding door, all the hinges and everything are in perfect condition, all the little button poppers, so we've got a little button popper here to hold the door in that position, that's, that's all working. We've also got the little clips that clip the door open as well, so they're all here and working as they should. They're all in you know, original condition. The little four winds emblem down here is original and in really good shape. We've also got these little pop-out pop cup holders. And those, to be honest, they're handy to have, but they're a prime candidate for getting kicked or stood on. And they, you know, it's, it's very often you find those broken on these boats. This one is it's in perfect condition, um, as is there's a matching one on, the, on the, the helms, at the helm seat as well. So the fact that all that's in really good shape, even down to like the little canvas fittings and things, Everything's in perfect condition. It's all original as it should be and um, Yes, just again, it's a really tidy boat. Obviously We wouldn't be offering a three-month warranty in this boat unless we were 100% satisfied of the condition that it's in and uh, as I said Yeah, it ticks, ticks all the boxes that, that we look for um, The boat as I said, it's coming with a brand new set of carpets, which you can see from the pictures uh, and there's also a full set of camper covers with the boat as well. So we've got a flat bimini roof section and, and a full canvas enclosure. So you can put the covers up, put the windscreen, the sides and the back in, and you've got a fully enclosed uh, cockpit for if you get caught out 
on a rainy day or if you're spending the night on board and you want to you know make sure you've got a, a nice dry boat to sleep in um, so if you check out the pictures you'll see um, you'll see shots of the carpet in and the covers up as well so hopefully that gives you a really good idea of the the condition and the spec on this uh, 2006 four winds 215 sundowner i think it's a fantastic boat um, it's obviously been, it's been through our workshop in detail and um, it's extremely well presented a very genuine original boat um, low hours example the spec level is great with the GPS, the Garmin GPS and VHF radio uh, the MPI engine it comes complete with a full set of camper covers there's also a tonneau cover included so whenever you're towing the boat um, you can tow it with just a tonneau cover on or, for st or use it for storage um, the trailer, the twin axle SPS trailer is included whenever you take the package as a whole I think it rep represents excellent value for money and I think it's going to make a fantastic buy for somebody. As I said, it's a great boat for water sports, for day cruising and even for the odd overnight stay. Um, and it's also with, a, with a, the Cuddy Cabin um, and that C category, C rating, it's well suited to, to coastal use around the, around the British Islands as well. So if you're interested or you'd like to arrange to come and have a look at the boat, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can drop me an email or give me a call or you can fill out our callback request form and I'll get in touch with you at a time that's convenient. Thanks for watching.